explain that out there. So again, if I were to make a square that goes up three times, it's about one and a half the distance. So I'm just going to illustrate part of it to get the wall, just as if you were in Illustrator and had to build this piece up. So there it is as the section. And then when you look at the proportion of this, it's probably about the midsection of this. So if you cross the diagonal, you'll see that it fits with the grid that's already there. That would be extended up to this point. And then giving this selection. So you can look at that and see if that fits the, uh, the look of it. It does look a little taller as it goes through with this, with this piece, but we're just making this as a square. So that's the section that you see. You might not see the opposite side of this. And then the distance that goes back, here's one square going back. And you could adjust that to see if it has to go a little further or not, but there's the kind of the distance for it. And uh, as I look at it, I'm going to make it just one and a half distances squares back. So it's just using the grid to help me measure this. And everything does seem to line up center as you do that. And you get to see a little bit of the opposing roof line there in this isometric piece. <coughs> so it has that section. And then for the uh, doorway, here's kind of the proportion of it. You're trying to place it within there, so it's about half the distance. coming in here. So as you look at that, see if you can place that in there. <coughs> and as you again take a look at this, we'll just treat this as a image that has some linear quality to it. So first of all, do the part that's on the front just to project it back. So here's the front of this. So when you take a look at this, this is the one that probably most resembles uh, a house, or at least a contemporary house in the other shapes. This is a little more traditional, showing the pitched roof, that type of thing. This is extended up. So if you have the desire to enter into architecture, the concepts that you see here, placing that in. So that's kind of the front. And then if you think of it being extruded back this distance. So I'll keep the lines accurate but light at first. Here's like one and a half distances back to it. Here's this going back. And here's this one going back. So I just took the distance from here up. And since like I said we're not necessarily using a T square per se. lining this up from here. <clears throat> so that gives you the three sides of the roof line, for example. And then taking a look down here at the door doorway, trying to get a midsection here. And as long as it's symmetrical, as it being the evil equal measurement, that'll give me this section here. And when you take a look at this, the shading on this, it has the black <coughs> dark values on all the top sides of this piece. So it makes the shading a little easier. Just take this edge. I'm just going to heavy this up and make these all a slight gradient. Going from a very dark edge to a value in between. Not too bad, just a quick quick line. It loses the line pretty easily. And it's gonna have some of the reflected reflected light. Haven't really put any cast 
shadows on it, but there's that section. Taking a look at this one. This is what they call the ridge line on a roof. And just let that become a little darker. It's going to be dark on here. So just finding those edges, letting it blend in. And here I'm just going to reestablish this roof line right along this top part. Because this is dark. It's almost like shingles on a roof. When you look at the shingles, it's a dark, usually they're dark in this climate. See that up there. There's the illustration. This part's going to be the lightest side, so taking this line and kind of blending it away real quickly. And then just putting the paper under my hand and going this direction. making this doorway dark. you have it, you can go and use the eraser to clean some of it up. Up there. 